Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! And for defeating Quail, we get the Gastrofork, Kina's ultimate weapon in the game. Although it's still random as hell, but you take what you can get. And uh, more importantly, heck, the stuff I stole from him was better than anything else that I've got right now. So, okay, so, I'll show off the uh, Gastrofork there. Yeah, it's much better, uh... Let, let me show off the Ultima weapon, too. Woohoo! Look at that attack power. One of the strongest weapons in the game for anyone. It also has add status sleep, which would be useful. But uh, I think I'm probably usually going to stick with the Orichal gun. So. Okay, well, that's everything we can do here. So let's drop off that magical fingertip at Daguerre. I'll just meet you over there. Okay, we're back at uh, Daguerre. So let's deliver the magical fingertip to this guy. No! <laughs> Actually, you know what? I never took a look at that. Uh, oh, yeah, I still got that Koopa nut. I don't care anymore. <laughs> but, uh, Gogo, really? Huh. Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah, so there you go. Huh. Well, it's nice that they made a Final Fantasy V and VI reference there. Uh, yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, I, I won't be a jerk to you, so. Okay, so, uh, let's get on out of here. Or... Okay. Oh. Well, so you are. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I thought he was just a mime, but then he decided to become a seamstress. That's great. That's creepy on so many levels, dude. Are you talking about your fingers or the one I just gave you? I'll give you the finger... Or a flipper. Well, what do we get for the magical fingertip? The Excalibur! Not a great weapon, but it's there. I brought Steiner into my party just to show you. Uh, yeah, you get Stock Break from the Ultima Sword. Klim Hazard from Excalibur. Would have been more useful if we could get them on disc 3. But you take what you can get. Okay, so that's everything I can do here at Daguero. So now I think we're ready to take on the Almighty Ozma. But, you know, I think there's some old friends that I should meet up with first and take care of. So, I'll just meet you over at the first one. Ah, there we go. Yeah, this is what I meant by old friends. There's still some friendly creatures that I haven't met up with yet that I decided to hold off and wait until disc four. Because there's some exclusive equipment here, like the, uh or some exclusive abilities, like uh, power throw, or high jump, uh, things like that, that you, well, I wanted to save it for disc four because of that, so. But anyway, you can meet up with this guy on disc three if you came here earlier, or however you want to do it. But me personally, I like doing it on disc four there, so. And for defeating it, we get 30 ability points and finish off quite a few abilities there, all right. We get a Lapis Lazuli for the friendly Garuda. And just to show you where I was when I met up with the uh, friendly Feather Circle there, uh, we were right around the Estogaza area here. So there you go. Okay, so let's head on back to, uh, I don't know what you call it. I think it's Popo's Heights. Well, I'll show you when I get there. All right, there we go. Yeah, I was right about the name of the location. It's Popo's Heights. It's that area right above Gizemaluke's Grotto where the the Moogle guy told you not to go way earlier in the game where I met up with the Grand Dragons but now we're in the forest here this is a friendly Garuda and it wants what did he want I hope it's a Lapis Lazuli I wasn't paying attention to it talking to me but there we go yeah that's what you got to give to him Ooh, that's pretty good healing there uh, I don't understand the point of that, but... Well, who's the next one? Where's the next one that I gotta go for? That's not all the friendly creatures. Well, I'll show you where it is. Remember that fairy island or vile island or whatever it's called? We gotta head over there next, so I'll just meet you over there. Oh, by the way, here's where this location is on the world map for those playing along with me there. All right, found it. We're at uh, Vile Island. That is indeed the name of the place. I just wanted to make sure I had it correct. And this is the 
final friendly creature available, the friendly Yan. If you meet up with an ordinary Yan on this island, which you can, they will kill you. So, oh, wait, I don't want to run from them. Uh, I want to use a diamond on them. But yeah, uh, just run from the ordinary Yans. Run your ass off. And, uh, well, we get a lot of ability points for it, so there we go. I don't know how you're supposed to know to look for this guy. What do you mean, the round guy? Hmm. Maybe we should pay a visit to Ozma and find out what he means by that. But anyway, that should be the last of the abilities that I really need to work on for the most part. And, oh, we get a Rosetta Ring. Oh, okay, I guess that's why I didn't buy the third one. I was like, why didn't I get a third one of those? Because I know I want to have at least three of those, but... Well, okay, there we go. And uh, this is where we are. Uh, the name of the place? Yeah, File Island. So that's where uh, you can meet up with them. So now, where is my uh, Chocobo's Air Garden? It's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I want to head on over there with my golden Chocobo to face Ozma. Okay, we're back at the Chocobo's Air Garden here. I uh, just want to show you where I am right here. So, there you go. Sure, why not? Let's examine this thing. Why so serious? Yeah, I'm ready to go. For boss time! Against Ozma. This time, Ozma, you're mine! And I've rearranged my party as I have listed in the video description there. And I'll go over why I did what I did and everything as the battle progresses here. This time, I'm prepared. Now, what that message means there is if you've defeated all the friendly creatures or have gotten all their aid... Woo! Doomsday! Right off the bat! Excellent! Uh, if you've defeated all the friendly creatures, then what'll happen is you'll be able to attack Ozma with your physical attacks. Because right now, he's normally out of range, so you can't hit him with a physical attack. Not that I care, but actually the more important thing is that it eliminates his shadow absorption. Normally he would absorb his own Doomsday, but because of that, uh, Doomsday hits everyone, by the way, all allies and enemies, shadow elemental damage. Now what I've done here is I have equipped Amaranth and Vivi with return magic. So that way when Ozma casts Doomsday, they will recast it back at him. It's not just reflect, it actually recasts the spell so we can deal massive damage to him like 25,000 damage one round all that damage on Ozma it's amazing using return magic on him and it makes this battle so much easier or so much more likely for you to win now as you saw from my previous attempt uh he can cast curse on you uh I don't know if you saw it but uh you can, he can cast meteor on you that can really ruin your day and really make this battle a lot more luck based. So hopefully we won't run into some bad luck with a curse meteor combo. That's why you want to have auto life so that way you can at least have a remote chance of surviving. Things like that. But basically just use thievery. Uh, I'm throwing wing edges at him because, well, being a flying enemy, he is uh, susceptible to uh, throwing weapons more. The reason I'm using Bahamut here as opposed to anything else really is because it has a really long attack animation and I've got auto regen on everyone. This is one boss where I have absolutely no guilt whatsoever using auto regen or abusing it because Ozma, like a couple other bosses in the game, Ozma has no wait time. So what that means is, is um, if you're not doing anything, he'll just go attack after attack after attack. He doesn't have to wait for like an ATB bar to fill up all the way. He'll just go one right after the other like that. So that's why I have no problem doing that. Uh, now, unfortunately, he will counterattack with Berserk every now and then. So that does hurt my chances a little bit there. But yeah, well, so far we're doing pretty good. If you have Doomsday for Vivi, hey, so much the better. Go for it. But unfortunately, I don't. So, um, you know what? Let's go with Gasol Greens on Dagger there. Gasol Greens cure the Berserk status, just so you know. Doomsday? No. No. Uh, one other thing that is pretty useful against Ozma, if you have a character who's a level of multiple of four, then he will actually try to cast 
I love four holy on you. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward through this. Because we're gonna counterattack that twice with return magic. But you actually do uh, want to bring someone whose level is a multiple of four, which in my case would be Dagger and BB there. Uh, but the reason is, is because he won't cast level four holy if you don't have someone with that level. Uh, same thing with level 5 Doom, except that will kill you, which I really, really, really want to avoid, actually. So, in this case, I ended up pretty lucky with how that all ended up working out, because I do have characters multiple level of 4. Now, as for my equipment, uh, most of the stuff that I've got uh, absorbs shadow or holy damage, or just flat out nullifies it. So, uh... So there you go. Uh, so that's why I'm not worried about Holy Elemental stuff. Doomsday, that's why you need the uh, Shadow Absorption stuff. Flare Star deals damage equal to your level times 50, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, we well, we're getting close to him. We're working on it. I'm working on it. By the way, um, Auto Regen keeps on working while the attack animations are going. That's one thing that makes it really, really, really abusive in this game. And... That's why I'm using Bahamut there, because that'll really help out with that a lot. So, and boost on deck. Gotta have boost for that. Uh, now let's see. One other thing is if your characters do die, you can use Aura to uh, recast Auto Life on them. So that's pretty nice. That's another good thing about Amaranth there. Uh, now, normally, he probably will be killing you. The reason you are seeing this video is because I am, well, obviously editing out all my retries against him. Because if he casts Curse, that could be really bad. Um, let's see. You know what? Let's, uh... Oh, screw that. Yeah. Just fast forward through the retries there. Uh, let's see. Mini on Amaranth. Amaranth, throw a wing edge. Because, yeah, if you're mini... Oh! Did I get him already? Okay. Yeah, I got him! Alright! There we go! Now, I made that look a lot easier than it actually is. Because really, when you fight him, he's just going to do all that stuff over and over and over again. Like Curse, Meteor. I didn't show off like half the things that can really, really ruin your day. Because, well, you well, well, I showed you in that one video before. But, I mean, it can, it, this is just so incredibly luck based, so. Alright, what do we get for defeating him? A lot of ability points, and we get the pumice. Uh, I'll show what that does in uh, just a moment, viewers. Oh, yeah, and, uh, oh, there we go. Secret info! But, yeah, he's just going to leave the card behind there and restore our stats. Alright. Okay, we're back down to Earth where I can actually look up my menu, but essentially, that pumice that I got there, you see there's a pumice piece, but this is a full pumice, actually. And it teaches the mighty Arc Summon for Dagger there. Uh, Shadow Elemental hits them, or hits all enemies, so yeah, very nice there. Not that I'm going to use it, but it is her final summon that uh, I don't have for her there, so I figured I'd... Just show you that. Uh, was there anything else? No, I think that's it. Okay, so uh, we defeated Ozma, and uh, that's most of the side quests. Uh, there's just a few loose ends that I want to tie up, and then we'll begin the final assault on the Ifa Tree next time. And let's play Final Fantasy IX. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day. <laughs>